These are uh, framed photos of uh, Mustang twos. Came along in a hobby buy of mine. And uh, these have been up for sale for quite some time and I finally put some uh, put out some offers today and somebody took me up for 15 bucks for the four photos, framed photos. Uh, this is a collection of uh, stray parts from a Grundig uh, German tube radio that I sold, uh, that I uh, parted out. Uh, this is the antenna connection. These are several uh, input speaker outputs and some uh, light bulb holders. And uh, these sold for $20. I decided to uh, sell my Preway fireplace. I've owned this for about uh, three or four years. And uh, I converted it to uh, electric logs in there. I found a set. Still have the original uh, wood burning grate. And it came with the uh, pipes along with an extension pipe and a uh, trim ring for the ceiling. And I sold this on Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to uh, drive it up to a, a small town near Mankato, my hometown. And uh, I sold it for $2,300. Uh, this record changer is out of a Magnavox uh, stereo that uh, I actually saw on Facebook a number of weeks ago. Kind of kept my eye on it. They're asking a lot of money for it. I think about $150 or $125, something like that. Which was a little much. And I knew it would need some work. But... Uh, just a couple days ago, I saw it up for $50, so I went and bought it. And uh, even though the uh, cabinet's not so bad, it's a portable fold-down unit, uh, it kind of smelled smoky. And uh, I knew I'd have a easier time just uh, selling the changer. I've been selling a lot of these changers lately by themselves as replacements for people's existing stereos. And uh, this just took a couple days after I uh, serviced it. And it sold for uh, $275. I kind of upped the price on this particular changer because it is kind of a rare one being all white. A little bit of yellowing on the uh, platter mat. But uh, regular service, took it apart and cleaned all the old grease and made a video of it. It's pretty nice, pretty nice record player. $275. This little Tootsie toy is a uh, is a Nash Metropolitan convertible. It's got some uh, paint wear on it, but uh, unbelievably, these go for some good money. This sold for forty dollars. This is an AM radio for a uh, mid '60s Ford Galaxy, and I was able actually to uh, test it out, make a video of it. Um, I marked the uh, wires for speaker and power. It does work. Station's all set where you put them. Brings back some memories. My high school car was a 67 Ford Fairlane with an AM radio and a speaker on the dash. This sold for uh, $100. Lots of small parts are selling this week. Uh, this is just the hinge, one of the hinges for a uh, dual turntable dust cover. Kind of an odd shaped thing, but uh, people often lose these, so I knew it would sell right away. It sold for uh, $13. Another 8-track player sold. Uh, this is a mid-70s, I believe it's pronounced Cariole. Sort of an off-brand. Nice wood case, it's got a few little uh, dents in it, but uh, I went through this with uh, a cleaning and uh, new belt, everything it needs to uh, get working again. This one has actually got a built-in amplifier, so you can just hook up a pair of speakers to it. But I also tried it through uh, an amplifier, and uh, at low lower volume you can uh, run it through your amplifier and I kind of advertised it that way and this is uh, was sold to a repeat customer a couple months ago he bought a tape deck for, from me and he's gonna plug this one into his uh, stereo system as well and this sold for $130 
And the pencil sharpeners keep uh, continuing to sell and reap big rewards. Uh, this is a very old uh, wizard brand, probably uh, dates back to the early 1900s. A little uh, drawer for the shavings and a uh, little spring loaded pencil holder. And uh, I had no idea when I bought this collection of uh, pencil sharpeners what the individual values were on some of these. And uh, so far, the most expensive one I had sold, or the one that sold for the most amount, was $195 for an electric one that sat on uh, Don Draper's desk in Mad Men. This one, though, sold for $250. This is a pair of uh, Yamaha name badges off of a uh, pair of speakers, I believe. I got them along with a bunch of other uh, musical equipment badges, name plates, that I picked up at a garage sale. And uh, one of them's pretty good condition. The other one's got some uh, paint wear to it. But the pair sold for $18. Uh, this is an uh, auto part. It's the uh, lower part of a steering column cover for a 1974 to 78 Mustang II. Nice little part that uh, I suppose often gets uh, broken or cracked when somebody's knee smacks into it. <laughs> and uh, this sold for $35. This is a vintage massage unit by uh, General Electric in the original box. It's got all the attachments and uh, I tested it out, it works just fine. Do uh, these uh, massagers of all sorts of different types. Uh, they seem to sell pretty well. This one took a couple of months to sell, but uh, I got uh, $25 for it, just a garage sale find.